Throughout human history, we have looked for different ways to understand humanity and ourselves. One of these ways is psychological constructivism. Psychological constructivism is a theory that focuses on how individuals actively construct their own understanding of the world based on their experiences and interactions. It suggests that our perception of reality is not simply a passive reflection of external events, but rather an active process of interpretation and meaning making. At the core of psychological constructivism is the idea that individuals construct mental frameworks or constructs to organise and interpret new information. These constructs are influenced by our prior knowledge, beliefs and experiences, shaping how we perceive and understand the world around us. A key figure in psychological constructivism is Jean Piaget, a Swiss psychologist. Piaget's theory of cognitive development emphasised that children actively construct their understanding of the world through interaction with their environment. He proposed that as children encounter new experiences, they assimilate them into their existing mental structures or accommodate their frameworks to incorporate new information. Another influential figure in psychological constructivism is Lev Vygotsky, a Russian psychologist. Vygotsky emphasised the role of social interaction and cultural context in shaping cognitive development. He proposed that learning is a collaborative process, with individuals acquiring knowledge and constructing meaning through interaction with more knowledgeable others, such as teachers or peers. Psychological constructivism has significant implications for education and learning. It suggests that learners are not passive recipients of knowledge, but active participants in constructing their understanding. From a constructivist perspective, educators should create learning environments that encourage exploration, reflection and collaboration, allowing learners to construct their knowledge and meaning through hands-on experiences. Constructivism approaches in education often involve problem solving, inquiry-based learning and open-ended tasks that promote critical thinking and creativity. Rather than focusing solely on transmitting information, educators facilitate opportunities for students to actively engage with the subject matter, connect it to their prior knowledge and construct their own understanding. In everyday life, psychological constructivism reminds us that our perceptions and interpretations of events are subjective. It encourages us to reflect on our own beliefs and biases, consider alternative perspectives and recognise that others may construct different meanings from the same experiences. So whether you're a student, educator or simply curious about the way we make sense of the world, understanding psychological constructivism can provide valuable insights into the active nature of our perception and cognition. If you'd like to hear us talk about more areas of education or culture and psychology, please do like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.